From a tornado in Iowa tearing the doors off of a building, and an earthquake in Turkey striking without warning, to a mudslide in Switzerland washing away a man's entire livelihood, and a powerful flash flood bursting through a hospital's windows. Here are five incredible natural disasters that were caught on CCTV cameras. Norwalk is a small city in Warren County, Iowa, just south of the Des Moines International Airport and about 20 minutes outside the capital. Though technically on the outskirts of Tornado Alley, USA, Iowa still sees its fair share of twisters every year. According to the National Weather Service, they experienced 114 tornadoes in 2021, the second most in a single year for the state. Typical tornado season in Iowa is between May and June, but 2022 decided to kick things off early with a powerful storm on March 5th. A series of CCTV cameras around a public works building captured several angles as the tornado passed through. In the first shot, we see the moment the wind tears down the garage doors, one by one. We also see loose debris whipping around the exterior and interior of the building. When some debris hits the gas pumps, things get a little concerning, but it looks like they remain in one piece. The National Weather Service reported that the March 5th event spawned 15 tornadoes, including the first EF4 storm in Iowa since 2013. It also traveled over 70 and a half miles, making it one of the longest tornadoes since 1982. Fortunately, nobody inside the Public Works building was injured. Sefer Hisar is a coastal district in Izmir province, Turkey, sitting right on the banks of the Icarian Sea. On Friday, October 30th of 2020, a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake struck 10 miles off the coast of Sefer Hisar. According to Turkey's Disaster and Emergency Management Authority, or the AFAD, the Sefer Hisar quake was so powerful that it was felt almost 300 miles away in Istanbul. CCTV footage from inside an office captured the moment when the earthquake struck. You can see the dangling lights swinging around as a woman tries to keep her balance. It looks like a cat sprints in and out of the office as other workers hang on for dear life. In a separate part of the building, one guy hides under a desk moments before what looks like a light fixture would have given him a nasty concussion. Another angle from inside the first office shows co-workers clinging to each other for dear life. According to the Turkish Red Cross, also known as the Red Crescent Society, the earthquake caused severe damage to several structures across the city. Reports indicated that at least four buildings collapsed as a result, and 12 lives were sadly lost. Bondo is a tiny village in Switzerland, just over the Swiss-Italian border. Only a couple of hundred people lived in the town when a freak mudslide in August of 2017 forced about half of them to evacuate. Sources say the village was almost whipped away when four million cubic meters of mud and rock traveled three miles from the Bondaska Valley, stopping mere feet from the Bondo border. CCTV footage from one man's carpentry shop shows the mud river flowing with unstoppable force. In one moment, it's sunny and calm. The next, his entire shop is being washed away.
It washes away everything in sight, leaving nothing but a thick gray mud pool in its wake. Wood, supplies, entire buildings, and even his massive silos weren't sturdy enough to withstand the force. Reuters reported that eight people were missing a day after the landslide. Sadly, it looks like they didn't make it. The August 2017 event was the biggest landslide Switzerland had seen in 130 years, and the government made plans to invest over $12 million into rebuilding infrastructure in Bondo. At just over 10,000 feet above sea level, Mount Ontake is the second largest volcano in Japan, behind Mount Fuji. On September 27th of 2014, Mount Ontake experienced a violent eruption that claimed the lives of 60 hikers. According to the Earthquake Research Institute at the University of Tokyo, Mount Ontake sat dormant until 1979 when it experienced its first record eruption. Since then, it has experienced smaller eruptions in 1991 and 2007. A stationary camera belonging to the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport filmed Ontake as it erupted from three large vents at the bottom of the Jigokudani Valley. A massive ash plume bellows into the air after rolling down the mountain. It almost encompasses the entire mountain by the video's end. According to the Daily Beast, the 2014 eruption was the first deadly eruption in Japan since 1991, when Mount Unzen claimed 43 lives. In the aftermath, the families of those that perished sued the Nagano prefectural government for 150 million yen for failing to raise the volcanic alert level which would have restricted access to the area. Kearney is a college town in Buffalo County, Nebraska. They're famous for the Archway Museum that stretches over I-80, where you can hear Mark Twain's account of a cross-country stagecoach trip. Kearney made headlines on August 8th of 2014, when at least 3.89 inches of rain fell overnight, causing flash floods to overwhelm the city's storm drainage systems. According to hospital representatives, the water broke through the ground-to-floor dining room windows at Good Samaritan Hospital, and CCTV footage captured the ensuing flood. A few people watch helplessly as the cafeteria fills with water. Then we see the moment the windows break, and a massive surge of water destroys the dining room. It almost looks like a scene from Titanic. The onlookers flee upstairs, not wanting to get caught in the whirlpool. According to ABC Nebraska, the hospital was back up and running the next day, as the flood only caused damage to the dining room, kitchen, and lower levels. To see another video just like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.